Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, sorry for the high background noise that we have here. Air conditioning is running real max speed because of the um, heat wave we have in Montreal. Uh, typically temperatures in the 90s with humidex that go above 100 Fahrenheit. Uh, pretty crazy here. So a lot of you are asking me from time to time about you know an update to Solar Cycle 25. Uh, those that never lived through a solar cycle have no real idea if, you know, the rise is is okay. Is it the standard rise? Is it normal? Uh, why is it if we're going up in a new cycle that there are days like we just had two days in a row with no sunspots? Is that normal? Uh, it seems that it's slow. It seems actually this is normal. A solar cycle when it's building up is always building up with quiet moments in between active periods there will come to a point where there won't be pretty much any uh you know empty spaces in there but we're still the first you know year year and a half into sort of cycle 25 so we gotta that's why there are these moments here but the sun is really more active and that shows and sunspots show up quite uh regularly uh, here you see two circled uh, regions on the solar disk, one here and one on the left side on the screen. These are possible sunspots that are growing, so you know the sun is active. And what might be surprising for some of you thinking that it seems to be a slow start, it's actually a fast start. Solar cycle 25 until now is growing faster than the previous suns, uh, sunspot cycle to a point where it actually might be arriving one year earlier than predicted because it is moving uh, and getting higher uh, at a faster pace than previous cycles. So it's important to um, know that because um, impressions are sometimes um, something that are not exactly the reality of the, the sun. Of course, solar flux and everything is low, but you know what? Don't don't look at those numbers too much. Um, I find sad that too many people are looking at numbers and saying, "Oh well, I woke up this morning, solar flux is at 70, so I decided to do something else in radio." Um, that that is for me lack of understanding what propagation can be and what it's all about. Um, I've said it so many times. I've done some of my best DX and solar cycle minimum and it is n better on higher frequencies yes when sunspots get there but um, you know what I there are so many people that I see that are hung up on the wow I can't wait until that cycle is up there that I am pretty sure that a lot of people are going to be kind of sad and think that um, well you know uh, maybe it's a cycle that's not high enough because I don't hear anything or don't do this or that. Uh, when in reality, it's all there. And, you know, especially in the ham radio field and ham radio world, when I see people saying, well, you know, I hope solar, I, I'm, I can't wait for solar cycle 25 to get up there and the band's going to be full of signals. They're not going to be full of signals for a simple reason. The reason they're not full of signals is simply because there's not that many hams active out there compared to the past. And that won't change in three years from now. They're going to like wonder why the bands aren't better. They're going to blame a solar cycle, which is often the case. When in reality, nope. Solar cycle has very little to do with um, you know, your DX capabilities. It does have an effect, absolutely. It's not zero. And a higher solar flux does help. But what I mean by that is that there's as much DX to have in solar minimum as there is in solar maximum and thinking that it's not the case once again it's a lack of understanding of propagation and radio in general and that's not the reason most of the time where some um, you know where where there's no activity there are things that are enhanced of course you know a higher solar flux will help with some of the signals like KBS World Radio 15575 um, you know Radio Thailand 15590 that helps when solar cycle gets higher because it helps higher frequencies but uh, don't expect to you know 
see that much of a difference, honestly, in two years from now. Because a lot more has to do with activity. And don't forget that a lot of the reasons, and it is something that I think too many people don't, under, don't see and don't understand. The biggest reason you don't have signals to listen to is the noise around you much more than the solar cycle. Um, and that is not, ain't going to change. Higher solar cycle is still going to be surrounded with your local noise. So don't forget that. But the solar cycle up to now is actually going and growing faster than previous cycles. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.